Hello, y'all. Peace, blessings, and love out to those babies over there in the other country where they're not used to. As far as, you know, a whole, whole nother type of environment that they're not used to. Peace and love and blessings also to my black community. Understand when I do speak to my black community, I am totally speaking to and calling out my black community because I am a part of my black community. I'm, there are plenty of other communities and you guys take care of your communities like you do and you speak to them and <clears throat> me personally I'm going to definitely speak to mine and this is what I'm doing now yeah I know I was not able to do a video today because I tried to upload videos twice I'm not going to be able to upload them live until I get they said until I get like a thousand subscribers so I think I'm almost at like 700 so I am trying to spread awareness. So I can't do it as much as I would like to do. I tried to upload two times today, like I said, but I was not able to do that. But anyway, what I am gonna do, because it's been a long day, I've been very busy. I am gonna go ahead and run through these numbers. Um, <clears throat> let y'all know that I'm still gonna be an advocate for my black people. Um, I want us to start remembering that we need to love one another. Um, that's where it all starts at. We need to um, stand up for our black communities. Um, we need to be consistent with it as well. We don't need to let ourselves ever feel that, hey, I'm doing, I, I did all I could do. There's nothing else I can do, okay? Especially when there's situations that um, we do have upon us right now. <clears throat> we, I mean, you guys know what we got going on. It's a serious situation. Someone left a comment today and they were like, um, this is how epidemics get started. And if you're thinking about the situation with the young, the um, Elysia Bishop over there spreading disease, he starts it at one spot and it spreads. That's an epidemic. I keep on pe hearing people say things like, oh, he was planted there and things like that to that nature. Um, the thing about it, when black people start standing up like that and you know that, hey, there's a poison in our community and you start standing up and you're consistent. I'm talking about consistent. You don't just fight the power for a week or so, but you're always doing it. You're always looking out for your community. When you see something like this coming to your community, you're, you're speaking about it, you're talking, you're, you're saying something out loud about it. And you're being upset about it because this does not belong in your community. Kids should not be a part of anything like a sex call, anything that has to do with the cult that rocks the way that these young, these people over here are rocking. It should not be, okay? So you should, this the same way that I am most definitely putting these numbers out, putting these websites out, putting these emails out, I want you guys to make sure that you are doing what you can for your community, even if this helps out someone next door. Because you know, the numbers that we're calling, these are people, these are numbers for it could be someone next door to you. You feel me? That's what it could be. It could be someone next door to you. It could be um, someone in your family. It could be whoever. If you know someone in your black community that is a black baby and they need help, we need to get ready to start helping out these babies because we're going to have a whole bunch of Elysios running around here if we don't start helping out our black community. I mean, we just let go and let things go down like this and <clears throat> be made a mockery on the world wide web too we already got enough stuff going on with us but this is the first time i believe i've seen well i never have seen anything like this ever online so there's no way that i would have you know let anything i would have said something i've seen it whenever you know i would have always said something about it i've never seen anything like this online um if anybody know of anything else that is going on like this online through our black community hello let me know because i'm ready to put them out there i'm ready to um, stand up for our kids because this is what we should do anyway and I'm ready to have some help doing it I feel like if you are one of the people that's saying that oh there's so much um, there's millions of kids just going through there's millions of kids oh, there's millions of us as well there's millions of us in our black community that can get out there in our communities if you know someone that's going through something if you know something that's going on don't sit there and say oh well and there's nothing else I can do get out there and do something Start standing up for your community. Start remembering, okay? Remember, we are a spiritual people. Understand that. We've been a, we were always a spiritual people. And you have to start remembering. It was, it was nothing to do with, with um, being religious, okay? 
We had our spirituality, our families, our communities to rely on. That's what we had. So we have to go back to that and we have to start remembering. I mean, look at the embarrassment that this is. To me, it's very embarrassing and it's very shameful. And what's even more shameful is that we have people that um, are probably in our black community donate into this, this cause. Whatever his cause is, this evil, demonic cause, we have black people out here, I'm sure, donate into this call. And you should most definitely be ashamed of yourself. It's very embarrassing. And you gotta look at it and be like, dang, this is our community. This is this is um this is a part of me. No. That's embarrassing. And if you see anything like this, you need to start standing up. If you have a voice <clears throat> you online, because this is where this is going on at. If it were going on in your literal community, would you not say anything about it? Yeah, it's plenty of people that won't say anything about it, and we need to start opening up our mouth about it. So if you're on this worldwide net web and you have this community out here that you do, you have a lot of people that you're able to speak to, start using these platforms for something positive. You know, it's, don't use it to dig up drama because when you can use it for something positive and you can speak to a lot of your community, your black community, and you can start building something strong because it can happen. It can happen. But you just have to be strong and you have to be persistent. You have to be consistent. This it's not anything that will happen in a week or two. It's nothing that you it's nothing like the riots that we have. It's nothing like the riots that we have that um you're fighting the power for a week or so and then it dies down. It's nothing about that. We should always be holding it down. We should always be doing what we should do for our community always like we should never have sat down but it's been centuries since we have taken care of us as a community taking care of us as a family like where's our black fathers where are black mothers where are the black i'm talking about long term because love has no expiration you can love your babies and everything when they're little and everything but you still continue to love on them when they get older and so forth. You love on your nieces, you love on your nephews. Where, where are our uncles, our grandparents, our aunties? Where are they at? We need to start thinking about that. I'm gonna go ahead and call some numbers out because y'all already know this is what I'm always gonna be doing. This is not a channel for entertainment. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to make people that don't agree with me and people that support um, the type of uh, th that that demonic activity in our black community I'm not here to entertain you I'm not here to agree with you and I'm definitely not here to make you agree with me so I mean you can always feel free to hop over to another platform where you can get that from I don't have we don't have that type of energy here on this platform it's about our community <coughs> and that's and it's about our kids our kids are our foundation. If we don't start building a stronger foundation now, our um, foundation is always going to be as it is right now. We're going to have a lot of Elysio bishops running around here. And the reason why we have Elysio bishops running around here doing demonic things like this, of this nature, because of the simple fact that we have not had a strong foundation. We have not had a strong communities strong black communities and we haven't had the strong families okay when we start getting that back that's when we get us back all right 1-800-I-AM-LOST that's 1-800-426-5678 and when I tell you you can this is not just for these kids this is for any kids you feel me any kids that you know right now that are going through anything and their family isn't afraid to speak out you know, speak out, get out there, and not be afraid, and be mad, be angry when things of this sort is going on. You have to speak out. Who who can speak out for a child? Who can speak out for someone that's mentally ill for real? Tell me that. Who can really speak out? They can't speak out for themselves. <clears throat> child Find America, 1-800-292-9688. The Child Abuse Hotline is 1-800-422-4453. Mental illness, that hotline number is 1-800-950-9562, I'm sorry, 950-6264. Their office hours are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
232-4636. That is the disease control number. You guys have to understand, if someone's over there in this type of cult, already spreading around all types of disease and everything, and then you're bringing kids into a situation where they treat the kids like adults, what do you think is going to happen to the kids? When someone said that this is an epidemic trying to get started, this is how epidemics get started, look how many people that he has that are foolish enough that are going over there. Who's who, These people that don't have their minds in correctly, they, their minds are just like, this is because we don't have our black communities like we need to have them. They're not strong. They're not strong at all. So this is the reason why things like this creep into our communities and we let it go and just turn the other cheek. If it happens over and over and over again, and you're not doing anything about it, that's when you become numb to it, you're desensitized, and you're not even worried about it any, anymore. You're like, at the point where you're like, oh well, there's nothing that I could do. There's a lot that you can do. Freedomofmind.com. Go to that website. There are plenty of numbers there as well. I will have those tagged in here the next time. I just really have been very busy today, so I haven't been able to do a lot. I was trying my best to load these videos up. I could not load the videos up <clears throat> today. They, they just went and load. Um, when I'm away from the house, it's, it's kind of hard for it to load up. So, um, Internet Crimes Against Children, 1-877-474-5437. Missing Persons, 1-800-843-5678. Another number for them is 1-855-463-6395. People ask, what do I say when I'm calling these numbers? If you are calling these numbers, you're calling for a purpose. You have a purpose. You know what's going on. If you don't, there are plenty of information online. Um, there are plenty of people to email, I'm sure, as far as like um, the people that are up here that are not supporting this situation with Elysia Bishop. The people that are, you know, more on my, my frequency. What we're talking about, like, what about these babies? There are plenty of people that have that, have this information. So. You, you're speaking from the heart, okay? You see, if this really bothers you, when you call these numbers, you will automatically know what to say. Um, you will know what questions to ask. Because you have to look at this as if this were yours, and which it is yours. So that's what you're going to have to look at it. You have to look at this as if this was you. How would you feel? All right? Um, human trafficking, one 373 7888 www.justice.gov forward slash action if you need to contact me to send me any information valid information information that's gonna um like any clips and so forth like if you have any older clips any cl clips that have to do with um anything any clips that will help out as far as what i'm talking about i'm not talking about any of the drama and so forth like that that they had going on i don't care about any of that anything that you're seeing that would you know anything i mean if you if you're on my frequency then you know what i'm talking about okay so you would get, contact me at philsdion36 at gmail.com please don't send any irrelevant um information um don't send the drama i don't care about any of that okay i don't care about what grown-ups do unless it has to do with kids when it comes to harming kids that's the only thing i'm caring about so i don't want any anything that's irrelevant um F E V I M T R A at P G dot G O B dot M X. That's the prosecutor's office for crimes against women and children. You're going to need the following. You're going to need to scan your ID and verify who you are. You're going to need a description of what type of abuse you wish to report. You're going to need to know who the perpetrators are. Who are the victims? Where did this occur? What is your relationship to this situation? Um, when they do ask you what your relationship is, you let them know that you are a concerned melanated citizen. Okay? Um, also, you're going, to, I have the, um, you're going to need supporting documents. Okay? And videos. And there are plenty. I say this every day. Every time, every since this happened, I'm saying the same thing. Okay? It's going to be like a recording all right um i also have the palenque mexico information there the police station is also there okay that's everything's there for you to get in touch with mexico all right and there's some other information that i'm gonna start pulling up about that i just really didn't have time to do it today so i'm just kicking y'all this this little short video right now 
real quick so just so you know that i'm consistent okay i'm very consistent if i say i'm gonna do something and i have and i have it in my strength i am gonna do it okay if it's in my heart i'm gonna be doing it um i think i called those out um also definitely don't forget that people that have family over there um please you know even if like let me back up real quick it, when I say send me some information, how about their faces? Because the, if you can send information to my email with the people's faces, some people may not even know their family is over there. Just because of the simple fact that we have let our families go. We have let our communities go. We're not there. So people slip up under the radar. People disappear. All right. So, you know, that's the reason why I say just kind of like reach out. Reach out. If you have this family these family members out here reach out check check and see you know if you're seeing this right here if you know anyone that may have someone that's over there or if you know anyone these numbers work for every everyone i mean y'all hear the numbers a lot of them are 800 numbers so they they work but you can definitely reach out stand up and be consistent about it don't let um time go by and you just like Oh, well, there's nothing else I can do about it. There's nothing happening. There's always something that you can do to help out your community, especially when you see something going on. I haven't heard any other um, new information about it. Um, I, I just, I feel sorry for the families that's involved with this situation, and I feel sorry for the people that are promoting this. Um, I feel like um, Elysio needs to let the people go. You know that you're literally taking advantage of these people. People in their same minds do not do this. You're an embarrassment to our community, to our black community. When you have that type of um, gift, you don't use it for bad. You take your gift and you use it in our community for good, not to poison and to, to play with people's psychological, you know, just play with their psyche. You're draining those people, literally literally and it's sad and so when we see poisons like this come in our community what are we to do we need to make sure that we are standing up and doing what we can do all right and what i say we can do is to call these numbers like i said i'm definitely going to be trying to get more information i just really i, I was busy my weeks be busy so um let me call these numbers out once more for you guys um, before I get ready to get out of here. Like I said, this video is not going to be long. 1-800-I-AM-LOST. That's 1-800-426-5678. Child Find America, 1-800-292-9688. Um, 1-800-422-4453 is the Child Abuse Hotline. Also, <clears throat> people that are sending donations and so forth to this cause, whatever this demonic cause is, understand... PayPal can be tracked, you know, for all the donations that are given to this person that's aiding and abetting, you feel me? You are shameful and you're aiding and abetting to this type of BS, this type of sickness. This is a head sickness, okay? It's a head sickness. It's okay, black people, to talk to um, a therapist. It's okay to get canceled. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, mental illness, 1-800-950-6264. The hours are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> disease control. There is disease, people. I just, like, don't, leave, don't lose that energy. Do not lose that energy. There is disease over there. This could be an epidemic, like that person said. This could be an epidemic. Freedomofmind.com. And I need to call out that disease control. If I trip over anything, remember the comments. It will be pinned in the comments, and it's going to be in the description. My battery is definitely getting low, so I definitely got to get ready to go. Um, that disease control number is 1-800-233-4636. And then freedomofmind.com. They have plenty of numbers um, that you can call. There's plenty of information up there if you have family that's over there. Don't forget your family, people. Even if you have forgot your your um family and you're starting to you're looking at this and you know this situation, get back there where you need to be. Start reaching out. And I'm gonna call out the um 
call out these other numbers again. Internet Crimes Against Children, 1-877-474-5437. Missing Persons, 1-800-843-5678. 855-463-6395. Um, also, human trafficking, 1-888-373-7888. And then www.justice.gov forward slash action. If you need to contact me, it's philsdion36 at gmail.com. Um, F-E-V-I-M-T-R-A at P-G-R dot G-O-B dot M-X. That is the that is the um where you can email the prosecutor's office for crimes against women and children. You're gonna need to scan your ID. You're gonna need a description of the type of abuse. You're gonna need to know who the perpetrators are, who the victims are, where did this occur, what is your relationship. You're gonna need support and documents and videos. I'm gonna be posting some more videos. Like I said, I just didn't have time today, but I will be posting some more because I don't want y'all to lose this. I don't want you to lose the energy. I want you to see what type of um, poison we have in our community that's doing this to children. And you're looking at it online. And if you're looking at it online and you see this, you need to be doing something about it. We can't help it if it's other people that don't see this, but when you see something like this, you need to be doing something about it. You don't just sit back and look at something like this. Um, what's your relationship? You're a melanated concerned citizen. Concerned melanated citizen. That's that's what I say. Um, support and documents and videos. Um, that's that's what you're gonna need. I said those are all over the line. Get that information. The Mexico police station is up up there as well. I want you guys to keep that same energy. I'm going to sound like a broken record to you guys until we try to figure out what's going on with this today. You know, to, I'm letting know like, hey, look, it's be good now. Let them babies is back over here. That's all I want to hear. It doesn't even have to be anybody to, um, you know, nobody has to, the, the people, the family don't even have to reach out to me. I would just like to know that you guys are doing something to get those babies back you you got those babies back you got them you loving on them and you hold on to them tight so nothing like this ever happens ever again because we don't need that type of thing going on the the whole thing needs to be shut down anyway because they're bringing babies into this situation as well why psychologically fuck up some kids like why do that um i would also tell elicio you need to Call that mental illness number as well. There's something that's not right. You know that's that's something that's not right in your head. You probably need. I know that you went through things when you were younger, so you need to reach out to your family as well, and your family needs to reach out to you as well. You need some help, dog. You really do. You should know that what you're doing is totally wrong. It's embarrassing to our community. And if nobody else is going to say anything about it, I'm totally going to say something about it. And I'll be very proud of myself for doing something about it and saying something about it and standing my ground on it. Because it's very embarrassing. You have that type of energy to pull that many people to you. And then you, the thing about it is you're pulling weak black people to you. Weak ones. You're not pulling any strong ones to you. You don't have any grown, wiser men over there than you, older men. You got a whole bunch of little boys over there and a bunch of young women over there. And you're like the oldest one over there, basically. And you're over there just, just taking advantage. And you think you should be um, proud of yourself. No. You should be ashamed. Very much ashamed. But I'm going to go ahead and um, close this out right now, guys. I Thank you so much for... Um, for supporting this and you know the people that have that good pure heart like i do thank you so much for um you know for watching for tuning in for um for the all the good the good comments and everything that you you, you leave there i appreciate it um thank you for the emails that i get and thanks for the people that reach out to me about my niece as well i appreciate that um these are things that are close to my heart my community is something that's close to my heart um, children, most definitely, that's something close to my heart. Those things bother me when we in our community don't do anything about it. And when families just don't do anything about it. And it's time not to, you know, to tuck stuff up under the rug anymore. It's time to start speaking out about it. So with that being said, you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I would like to say peace, love, and blessings to everyone. Prayers go out to those babies. 
I mean, prayers really go out to those babies. We need them, man. I, like I said, I haven't heard anything about it, but I, I don't, and I don't know what to say about it. But understand, it was a, um, you know, it was three people that did die over there. I mean, not the two, two of them didn't, but his ex-wife. I didn't know that she had killed herself after she had left from over there because she found out. This is what I was told now. I'm not speculating on this part. This is what I was told. But I was told that she committed suicide when she left from over there. And then she killed the, she, well, she had killed the baby and then committed suicide. Because she had found out she had, um, you know, gotten something from Elysia. This is what I was told, y'all. And I know that um, the Mama Dia lady, her, she died over there as well. Um, you, you gotta understand, people can really die over there. They're over there malnourished. You feel me? Malnourished. We got a lot of bad energy. If grown-ups want to do that to themselves, I really, I feel sorry for them, but that's them. But if you want to do that to a child, you're evil. You're very evil. And you should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm so embarrassed. But I'm going to get out of here for real, y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. Um, Sage it up. Get your energies right. And I will talk to y'all soon. Like I said, my time is busy during the week. You guys enjoy your night.